Be great, come on, get your friends. We're going to create some distant lands. Mean the sky, no one else. The fun will never end. It is be great. Hello, fellow viewer, and welcome to the twenty tooth tooth tooth. Yeah, about it. Anyway, welcome to the latest episode of Speed Crate. I am Mariska, you are a person, and uh, yeah, I'm here to create and stuff. Woohoo, and you're here to watch me create. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I always thought that watching other people create is boring, but you're here, so why not? Why not? I don't, I don't blame you. I'm not, I'm not simply there judging you. Or maybe I am. <laughs> anyway, in this wonderful episode filled with cardboard and more cardboard and then some more cardboard and then some playing. I will be experimenting with the wonderful magic of a grapple hook. Of the grapple hook. And yeah, I already told you this but I'm telling you again. Um, there are three different gameplay gameplay aspects on doing this level um, and that is Pure body physics, grapple hook, and grab nature. And uh, well, I'm going to experiment a bit with a grapple hook. I don't really have that many ideas for grapple hook, to be honest. I have like, I did have more ideas, but in this episode, I discovered some of them are pretty shitty. <coughs> but yeah, I'm just going to toy around with that at the end, see what I can come up with. My first idea with a grapple hook of merderness is um, to have one player lower, lower down that platform you see there in the video. If you look at the video, I'll look at the video, that's wonderful. Um, one player lowers the platform down and the other player um, grabs the platform with a grab hook, only one player had a grab hook. And then the player that lowered the platform down, player A lowers the grab, player 2 grabs the grab, player 1 grabs player 2, player 2 and player 1 can then proceed, because now they can grab each other. Right. You'll see an example very, very soon, in about, about a long time, not very soon. So anyway, that's that's what I'm up to this this my final episode. I think uh, next episode I may start to leave the experimental stage and move on to um, well laying the whole level out maybe. I'm not sure. It's like experimenting is good. And if I don't have enough gameplay, I will be completely stuck. Uh, but anyway, now I have like I have about. Well, at least seven gameplay uh, ideas that I'm using. That's really very handy. So now it's really easy to use. Lay them out, and if you want to just introduce some backtracking or some strange level design or whatever, or inco incorporate secrets, and that's going to be very easy. So there you go. That's the that's the profit of uh, doing it, doing it in cardboard before doing it. Yes. So yeah. Whoop whoop. Anyway. So, you might be wondering, or might not be wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway, so deal with it. Um, what have my Miska been doing this last week? Well, my dear, so I, I still have my summer vacation, so I have been... Um, what are they? Well, on Monday, I got completely tired of my other Land of Cloth level. You know, that level is that is a prequel to this level, sort of, ish, butter. Um, so I decided to start a new minigame project because we'll be done with it really soon, really quickly. Um, so I started a random minigame where the objective is to kill your friends and each player is actually giving a block of stone that you can control with your right stick. And at the same time you need to run from the other person's blocks, other people's blocks uh, with your psych person. So you both need to run from other people's blocks and crush other people and the, the guy that is last one standing wins. Um, so I was really excited, I was like woohoo! And I actually finished most of the level in a week, like this Friday I was like yay this is, this is nearly done. And then, well, my inspiration just ran out and I was like nope, I'm done here. <laughs> so I completely gave up, which is a shame. I might pick it up though, if you guys want me to I will probably finish it. It's like, I could finish it and it'll be kind of mediocre. Well, uh, uh, it will be, uh, I mean, it is a pretty fun minigame. It works. Um, the elements work pretty well. But at the same time, it's, mm, I don't know, I'm not totally happy with it. It could have been, it could be better with a lot more work. But I don't want to spend like a month on something because I'm lazy. <laughs> so there you go. 
I, I'm spending lots of time on this and my other platform levels, so yeah, I just want to make it quick and be done with it, and that's lazy, but you know. So that's what I'm doing. I have also started, <laughs> I got like me and bigger than her, or player, but player is so such a lame name, so I'm saying bigger than her, hate's gonna hate. Um, me and bigger than her um, got together yesterday and experimented a bit with multiplayer minigames. Um, our original idea was that, uh, <laughs> this is kind of, yeah, our original idea was that you have a sackbot and, uh, uh, by the way, you may very well copy this idea because I will never use it, probably, most likely never use it, so yeah. Oh, by the way, here's me going back to the old speed crate level, you know, you remember that? Nicola and uh, Sophia, Sophia and Nicola, yeah, and the witch and stuff, and whoop -a -doop -a -doop, and I got the gameplay, gameplay aspects from there, because I needed them. Yes, uh, I'm reusing all the gameplay I have here because I really like that live gameplay, so here's me recreating that scene. Um, anyway, me and Bigger got together last night and we doodled some and we got like, this crazy concept and the concept follows as um, one, there is a blob, but there, blah, there is a bot, a sack bot, yes indeed, yeah. and uh, the sack bot uh, is controlled, his running is controlled by one player and uh, his, uh, and the bots have a paint gun, so his shooting and aiming is controlled by the other player. So one player can run and jump, the other can shoot and aim. And there is also, um, you start in the middle of an arena, area, or arena, or whatever, a path, and you can either go to the right or the left. And one player wants the sackbot to go to the left, and the other player wants the sackbot to go to the right. So, and then the control switches sometimes, like every 20 or 10 seconds or whatever. So, it's sort of like football, but with one player. Wait, wait, football, but it. Wait. No, it's not like football at all. It's not, it's not like soccer at all. But anyway, so uh, there would be like targets, paint targets that uh, makes stuff go out of the ground and push the player back. So one player is trying to get to the left while the other player is trying to shoot uh, stuff to, uh, to make the other the gay player try to get to the left and uh, make that harder. So it's a very weird concept and uh, I don't know, I just got bored. So I, I give up completely. But if anyone wants to steal it, then steal it. If anyone wants to do something similar, then do it because I'm not ever going to do it. So I would love to see that they are alive. But it actually held quite a bit of potential. I'm not going to talk about too much about this because much to talk about. Um, but it was pretty fun. You can like there was like three elements. There was running. And then they were shooting to prevent the, your opponent from getting further. And then there was also shooting to make the path easier when you were trying to get back to the right. Um, so there was like three elements. And it was kind of deep. It was just deep enough for a minigame, I think. So you should totally do that player if you don't have anything in, anything in progress. Yes, yes, mm, yes, yes, mm, yes, yes. And I also have two other minigames I'm going to start today because I'm really excited. Uh, they're pretty original good things. Yes, yes indeed.
play testing time with the bigger than her. Woohoo! Also known as um, Jule25, but that's a really nice lame name, isn't it? Yeah, so we're going to go with with the uh, not lame, but a bad name. So we're going to go with uh, bigger than her. Because that's a really cool name. So here's here's the basic grab idea I was talking about earlier. Um, and, you know, completely failing, but that's part of the learning progress, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. I think that this could be really fun with a bit of polish. Polish and grace, yes, indeed, yes. Um, but yeah. And by the way, no, that's. I don't have anything to say about this. This is just, this is how it wants to work. My original idea was that there will be a grapple hook switch there to. I just said it worked and was like, oh, in Swedish. There was going to be a grapple hook thing there. To the right, so that uh, both of the players will get grapple hooks, and then you would go to the left and somehow activate the switch with that. But I figured that that section was going to be like the introduction of grapple hook gameplay, so I didn't want to make it uh, give both the player grapple hooks instantly because that would completely mess up the whole plan. Um, because, alright, well, I'm gonna make this talk about this properly. Well, it'd be like, hmm. If I give both players grapple hooks and then introduce a bunch of gameplay where only one player have grapple hooks, it would be kind of a weird progression, wouldn't it? Um, it's way better if just one player have grapple hook all the way through and then you do something to, so both players can get grapple hooks and then you like progress by using both grapple hooks. I actually made a really cool switch system um, that uses both grapple hooks, like uh, yeah, butter. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, we are about to uncover some excellently bad gameplay. <laughs> um, I, I thought it was really, like the best I see ever, but it really wasn't. I might change it though. I might like, all right, uh, maybe you can see what I'm trying to do here. He just let go there. It's just a shame. Um, the basic idea. Yeah. <laughs> fail. The basic idea is that one player goes under and then the other player that is on top goes under now and it's just, yeah, that's that's the basic concept. But it failed pretty badly, so I might have to redo it. Also, the level doesn't reset at the moment, so it's <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> but maybe if I like use, um, tweet means uh, crap, basically, in Swedish. Just, just learning you a bit of, teaching you a bit of Swedish, you know, that's always nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so anyway, but I think that could be a fun gameplay concept, even if, it is, if it's a bit complicated. Um, and yeah, the problem is that you need to keep it somewhat simple. You can't really be too. Oh, gameplay session is over. Sorry. Um, you can't really be too specific when doing gameplay. A lot of times I'm like, oh, if you do this and this and this, then you will have this really cool gameplay concept. But you can't really become that complicated, you need to keep it simple and clear, um, which is pretty tricky. And it's always a shame when you have to give up fun gameplay ideas because they were just too, too uh, it's hard to understand. Very depressing indeed. <laughs> but man, it's cool. So, anyway, I have some other things to say. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to Poland or Poland. I'm not sure what to say. I think that's it. You say Poland in some places and Poland in other places. In Sweden, we say Poland, which is very nice. Anyway, we're going. Uh, me, my two sisters, and my father is going there this uh, next week on Tuesday. So yeah, not not this Tuesday, but like the week after. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, there will be one week of uh, no creating, and I, there might be a break in speed crate due to that. I'm very sorry for that in advance, but I'm just letting you know. And it's going to be really scary. I'm pretty. It's like, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Very interesting. We're going to walk every day. We're going to be so tired, and like, we're going to be really mad at each other for. Yeah, we're just not used to hanging out, so it's going to be very interesting. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be very nice. So anyway, according to my marvelous speculations, no wait, 
calculations. Yes, indeed. Um, Speak Red episode 22 is ending right now. I hope you enjoyed. I might see you next Sunday. Uh, let me know what you thought or whatever. Butter and blah 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 blah. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this week I made gameplay. Next week I will make nothing. But if I do make something, then I will probably make some more gameplay. Or maybe just other things. Thanks for watching. Bye.